Hey there guys, welcome back to sci-fi stuff. Yeah, basically, well, mostly sci-fi stuff. We're doing uh, something different today. We're doing a sort of update vid on the tutorial stuff that I've been making, all that crap and all that. So if you like tutorial vids, uh, like and subscribe or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but this is going to be a short, easy dip of how to do the whole V-Roy. I'm just going to show you what I've already been doing with all that. And I have TARS and stuff. And I forgot to open up Blender. Okay, but well, anyway, uh, anyway, 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 but, uh, uh, we will, so, once you're done making your model in Vroid, after it's a free download, of course, and you made your model, and all that, with all bells and whistles, and, uh, it, when you do download it and do put it into Unity, it will look a little shiny, I recommend going to look, and going to rim outlighting, rim light, and just, Set this all to zero. That's how it would work. That's how you can get rid of the shininess, aka this, which I will show you right now. So, see how that my hair gets like shiny. Yeah, it gets rid of all that. So, once you do all of that, you simply go to your lovely little button here, and you press. Export from VRM. You can title it How Are You All and all that crap, but I recommend going to your material thing, which is on the side, which will show on the side when you uh, get into the thing, and set it to, oh, here, I'll show you. Take some time to uh, work it, but when it does work, and stop circling, now uh, see, it'll set uh, materials to two, and it will basically optimize your avatar a little bit more. Now, once it does that, we'll send your avatar here into here. So basically here, my sci-fi RP uh, model claws. That's for uh, basically a model that I was making Vroid that I increased the gloves and added claws. But once you do that, you go to Blender, you press Control, you press just A once, and you press Delete to get rid of all that. Now, you're going to have to get the cat's add-on. There's a add-on if you go to File, no, Edit, I mean Edit, Preferences, and you go to the Cat's Blender plugin, which is a sort of GitHub Assets folder that you find on GitHub, if you can find it. Anyway, once you do that, you press Import Model. Once you import your model, so your downloads or wherever you find your damn model, you click on it, and uh, one more, I gotta find the damn thing. We'll use you for test. Basically, once it downloads and once it shows, uh, once it shows, the model's gonna wait, take some time. There we go, there we go, finally. Took some time. Uh, once it does that, you will have this. Now, don't worry, it's supposed to look like this once it goes into. So you're going to have to press this button. Lovely fix model. Once it does that, it will use the two materials that you have on your Vroid model and just stick it onto here. And voila, you have your Vroid model. And all that. All that jazz. You have your Vroid model. Now, the bones, it comes with bones and all that, so you don't have to worry. But there are two options when doing Vroid. If we go to Unity, now, this is the FBX file of my uh, character, of my avatar. I placed it in texture, which is right here. But there is another avatar model. If we go into here, you'll see that Vroid comes with your models in, in packages. Now, there's one issue that you will have once you do this. If you press this button, it will do all this. You can simply put in the VRC SDK stuff and it will all work fine and dandy. But you will not have any visemes or any placement for emotions and all that. So no blinking, no visemes. You put visemes on right here. By pressing visemes, put in the A for A, the O here for O, and the E here. Or uh, cha, whatever. Hold on. Or cha, right here. E here. 
I like to say AOE. Okay, AOE. And then for eye tracking, you just press create eye tracking and it works. You can test it how much you wish. So basically, testing it once you press I create eye tracking, you can start testing it. Do the whole look up, look down, look up, look down, whatever. Station and all that. And you can send it to here. If you do that, you can put it in. But once you do that, your model will go here or anywhere. You will have two types of models. Your, your, well, your two types of models, your export VFBX file of your avatar and your Vroid one that you made for exporting your Vroid or VRM and you placed in here. So you open up your textures, you go find your FBX of your Vroid character that you have in, that you have in Blender. Just slap it into here. Now it won't come with the textures or materials. You're gonna have to imply that by pressing this button, going to your materials and placing the materials from here into here. So that it could be all fixed handy dandy. And then you just press apply, the materials apply, and you have your avatar. But we're not done yet. First, you're going to have to rig it. So you have to set this from generic to humanoid, and then press configure. Once it does that, it will give you this symbol. Now you are to save. Once you do that, you have to, well, you don't have to, you can test it how much you wish. You can go to your head. Get rid of the jaw. Get rid of the jaw by pressing none and all that. And do this. Press done and it's all said done. Now we don't have that specific model up, but we do have this model up that I've been using. Once you have all that done, you can press VRC. You press add component, add VRC uh, avatar descriptor. And once it's there, a blue of gray orb like that will appear above or around your character's face. You can edit it by pressing that. Now, this orb is very important. It's basically the model point in which uh, you see. So, in other words, if I put my face to my mask, my hand will actually be on my character's face and not just my actual face, my helmet and all that. Then you press your visemes. You press, uh, basically, you do the whole... Uh, Edit visemes or control visemes. There's a button here that I forgot about. But anyway, you press I look by enabling it. You do left eye, right eye by pressing R E or whatever. And then you hit it looking up and down with these buttons so that your character can look, your eyes, character of your eyes can look up and down and be looking at the person that you're looking at. So it looks like you're actually looking at them. Once you do that, you go down. To do the body mesh for the eyelids so that your character's eyes can blink so you can make a little bit more realistic and then once that all done you go to your vrc sdk now on further note once you do so and you have this you'll see some errors and say signs that say fix now button you have to press those or in order to continue on they won't break your model it's, just, it's a vroid model so it's trying to configure with the unity and all that so it's going to basically fix up some things make your model more optimized make your model a little bit more optimized so it can work and voila you are all green and ready to either build and test or publish now as long as you don't have any errors in your console or any errors here you can build and publish and by pressing that button I just pressed it by accident. And once it shows up, it will give you this screen right here. Now, I already have it as on my model and all that. I already have, you can set it to private to public. Private means that uh, it's your model and no one can clone it, even with cloning on. And these are all the content warnings just in case so that VRC knows that these are uh, somewhat uh, this a W and all that. Public means that your avatar can be clonable. Once you do that, you press this button and above information, right? To upload this content. Now you have to be, I believe, a trusted user in VRC to actually upload anything to VRC. But once you click on this button, you can press upload and voila, it uploads. 
Now, and then your avatar is on the RC for you to enjoy. Now, this is a bit of a short vid, but trying to make it short and all that. So hopefully it was, and hopefully this information is good. So until then, see you all later. Have a lovely day. Like, subscribe, and uh, catch you all later.